afternoon all. Just updating my moon garden. I still have a lot to do of course but I've managed to get my butterfly feeder and bird bird um that'll be right <laughs> get my bird bath going. I've I've done a blog on the step by step and I will add that link to the description but basically um, you would once a week put some cuts of citrus I've just got some oranges there the butterflies actually like to to eat the citrus and you put pebbles on the the basin just like I've done with the the bee bath over there uh, that way they don't drown but yeah, so it's just what I've done so far and I've spotted a few butterflies already. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> I've had a few circling around me in this little setup here. So it's a matter of time before they start recognising, hey, food. So, yeah. I've also um, bought some spheres because I think there's nothing cooler in a moon garden than to have orbs of some sort. I've also updated the bird, the bee bath. I've used a massive platter and I've just stuck it on top of the dish that was there before. You can just see that, just to give it some height. But yeah, so that's what I've done so far. I'm hoping tomorrow is going to be a good day with no rain because I'm really going to get stuck into this garden and digging out ball grass. Yay! Um, <laughs> be really cool if I can get that done and start mulching that garden bed at the back there and here. Um, but yeah, so this is my butterfly feeding station and bird bath. Just there. Very simple to make. Recommend everyone to have one. You know, it doesn't take much just to put a couple of cuts of citrus once a week that you eat but that's from that's it from me today blessed be and sorry about the trains I like to go past when I'm talking <laughs> bye